Hi everyone, this is Brendan here. So we have made our way back to almost 3,600 trophies. I didn't push that much today, I was a little busy. But uh, I made my way back to 3,006. Hopefully I'll be able to get to almost 3,007 or so today. Because uh, to reach to almost 3,009 or 3,008 is a little tough as uh, the clouding is really really bad. So just to show you guys what I mean by clouding is uh, if you now search for red, the magnifying glass just keep spinning and spinning over there so it'll take a while to search for red the higher you go the longer it actually spins so as you can see it took like a few seconds to search for this night couple base and then we next again it will just spin for a few seconds so as you can see it's more time consuming so this is a 13 couple it's not really that high so then uh, the 14 couple so it's not really easy to find a high cup base but I usually go for around uh, 21 or 22 cups and above so that I will get around uh, 15 cups minimum per rate. Um, that's for this particular range. As you go higher, you have to drop your target to maybe as low as even single digit cups. At around 4,000 trophies, you have to even uh, attack the single digit bases depending on the time that you attack. So uh, I said that I will be pushing my way to the global leaderboard so we will scroll down to see how many trophies we are away from reaching a uh, top 200 so as we scroll all the way down we will take a look at it so the number 200 uh, Fen Yun uh, is at 4478 trophies so we are just around 900 trophies away to reaching that spot but we will slowly uh, crawl our way there and hopefully we we'll be able to reach so if we now look at the Singapore's local leaderboard and we scroll the way down uh, maybe at around a hundred odd position I should be there uh, yeah so we are at 156 today as of now as you can see with 3583 trophies so hopefully we will be able to push our way back up to maybe top 10 in Singapore also so that's it for my pushing um, I would like to show you guys some of my attacks that I've been doing today. So as for defend, you can see uh, my defend was not too bad. Uh, did uh, two attack defense win, sorry. Uh, scored 60 trophies from these two defense. So we will watch one of them, this particular one. Um, this guy was using um, four Pekkas. In his CC, he has another Pekka. So he's using a jump spell, double jump in fact, with four golems. So as you can see, uh, he's using uh, this particular strategy which I'm still not comfortable using. So we shall see how it goes. 4 Pekkas, 4 Golems inside. With King and Queen have uh, jumped in already. Now taking out my CC with uh, uh, some of his troops. And then now his King has gone all the way in. But the Queen hasn't go in. So that's the problem. For this particular base, as you can see around my Town Hall, there's a layer of wall around it. That's what prevents the Pekka or even the Barbarian King from attacking the Town Hall. The only way to get the Town Hall is to use the Archer Queen to actually get the Town Hall. Or some Wizards if you're lucky enough that the Inferno do not uh, kill your Wizards fast enough as I've set them to multi-targeting. Uh, so they will actually take out the Wizards pretty fast if you do not freeze them up and uh, there's no Golems to tank the damage for you. So that's pretty much for this uh, particular raid. Uh, this guy of course couldn't get uh, additional percentage, just continue to take my uh, resources which is fine as I do not need uh, resources. So now let's look at my attacks. I've done uh, quite a number of attacks today. So as you can see, I've been gaining uh, quite a number of uh, cups, scoring even uh, one star as uh, some of the bases got re really, really tough. And uh, there was one particular base uh, that I really hated a lot. Um, that The problem of, about the base is uh, this particular base is uh, strong against the four golems double jump uh, strategy. So after attacking this base for countless number of times, I think I attacked this base like four or five times, this particular base that I'm uh, showing you guys now, uh, I decided to go and uh, change my angle of attacking. If you look, if I were to show you guys uh, my previous uh, attacks on it, I did three times one star on this kind of base, this layout. So now I've changed my angle uh, attacking from uh, this pattern itself uh, and dropping my uh, troops in this particular manner. Uh, tweaking it a bit, uh, of course, it changes the gameplay and changes the attacking style of your troops um, definitely as of now uh, the Gavarian King has, uh, has gone down and the Queen is now taking the Town Hall 
soon. So now she has targeted the town hall. So I think uh, this base is a little tough for me. I have to practice more on this particular base as this base is really really common. That's one thing I got to say, which is uh, after searching for like more than 10 bases, you probably see 5 of these bases uh, appearing. This particular layout, I'm not really sure why. I think it's just for people to try to prevent uh, people from using the 4 golem double jump strategy. So now we will look at another attack that I'd like to show you guys. This base was a little weird to be honest. As you can see on the from the bottom, um, the walls ain't completed, uh, completely covered. So I decided to attack from the top right as I'm afraid that the bottom right might have some traps. As there are some tombstone there, so I think that maybe uh, some somebody has lost a raid over there. So I don't want to attack from there, so I continue attacking from where I am actually attacking from, from the 2 o'clock. So then now uh, dropping my lightning spell, taking out some of the minions, so the balloons are trying to attack my barbarian king, but they, it couldn't. So then now I just uh, continue to whack all the way in, using a chance to target the town hall, taking the town hall out. So basically this base is just uh, wiped out. Oh, uh, I was trying to 3 star it, but as I see I uh, couldn't 3 star so I just continued to let it run out as my king has already died and my queen has just gone down so I just let it run uh, out the timer so yeah that's it for this uh, particular raid got uh, 15 cups from this uh, raid it was I think uh, 22 cups available so yeah I usually attack that number of uh, cups so another raid that I'd like to show you guys is uh, this raid that I've done on one of my alliance mate, Andy, Eddie, sorry, <laughs> from uh, Mega Town. So when I saw Mega Town, I was like, hmm, I think an alliance that I saw, it was a uh, 18 cup available. I was trying to uh, give him a chip shield, obviously. So uh, the way I attack is just uh, trying to focus my troops onto the town hall. So once the town hall goes down, I will just probably end the gate and the raid so as to not continue scoring the 50%. So, uh, this is how um, some of us alliance mate uh, help each other out to not lose so much trophies and even uh, help each other to push the trophies even higher. Uh, I'm not too close with uh, Eddie, I have not spoken to him before. I'm not too sure whether is he still actively pushing cups or is he just maintaining cups. But nevertheless, I've uh, given him uh, this chip shield with a queen with full blood. I just uh, cloak her to just take out the town hall and just end the battle. So yeah. Chip shield minus six trophies. Uh, whenever you get a single digit minus uh, trophies, is considered a chip shield in high champions gameplay. So yeah, that's it for my today's pushing a uh, video. Tomorrow I will update you guys again and also show you guys the war against uh, the French clan. I heard that this clan is one of the top clan in a uh, clan war, maybe the number second or so. So we will see. Um, hopefully we don't uh, get trashed by them like how we got trashed uh, by VN champions. They were really really strong. So if we look at the warlock itself, um, it was quite a bad uh war as it was 80, 89. They were really strong, but we will definitely improve our skill and also improve our base design so as we do not get uh, wiped out by them that easily. So with that said, I'd like to thank you for watching my video and clash on.